Hi guys, it's Dan with Concierge Diamonds. Uh, just finished a very eventful, very hectic day at DJCK show, running around doing a lot of stuff, bought some beautiful stones I'm looking forward to showing you later. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do today was to talk to the uh, growers and producers of lab-grown diamonds, which is a large trend in the industry these days. Wanted to see kind of where that, that part of the industry is and if it's something that I should get myself involved in. And I gotta tell you, my conclusion at the end of the day of research is that I shouldn't. And let me tell you why. I spoke with a few people who produce lab-grown diamonds and you know they're touting the advantages of them, but the disadvantages of them, to my opinion, outweigh the advantages. So the only advantage really is cost. They're about 25 to 30% cheaper than natural diamonds. So okay, that's great, but the disadvantages are significant. One, today lab-grown diamonds cannot be grown larger than about a carat and a half at least without a significant difficulty and degradation in quality. So if you're looking for a stone bigger than that, you really just can't get it in a lab-grown diamond without sacrificing quality that you shouldn't. Two, there's no market that exists in resale value for lab-grown diamonds. When I talked to people who were in the lab-grown diamond business and I said to them, what about the secondary market? What if somebody ever wants to trade a stone in, upgrade it, what have you, sell it after they buy it? Uh, one after another, people in that business told me, well, there's no market for it these days, which effectively is the same thing as saying the value of a lab-grown diamond becomes zero the minute you buy it. A natural diamond, remember, is an investment that's held value for 5,000 years and will continue to do so, but a lab-grown diamond, that's just not the case. The third reason that uh, I think we should avoid lab-grown diamonds today is having spoken with several large jewelry insurance providers, the majority of them are not willing to insure a lab-grown diamond. There are a few who are, mind you, but not at a reasonable premium and not with a quality of coverage that I feel comfortable with. And if the industry as a whole isn't willing to insure a product, you've got to wonder about its inherent value. So my conclusion is I'm going to stay away from lab-grown diamonds. I encourage you to do the same, at least for the time being, because again, you can't get necessarily the size you want. You can't get the value you want if, if you ever come to a position where you want to sell it. And you can't get the insurance coverage you want. Three strikes, you're out. Stay away from lab-grown diamonds. Have a great day. This is Dan from Concierge Diamonds. Please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Reddit. I'm you, Diamond Dealer. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.